Ryan Barucki will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, if you're looking for Achilles' heel from this pitcher, this jumps right out at you. Right-handed batters are hitting over 300 on the season against this guy. That's something he's going to have to improve on if he expects to pitch well in this one. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He will lead this one off today. Andrew Benintendi. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good pitch to hit. A sinker down the chute, but it's taken for a strike. And Dan DeRow, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, when you get off to a slow start, all you want to do is get back to that 500 number, and you don't care how you get there. Well, this team has done exactly that, and today starts the first day. Hopefully, they find a way to get a win, one game over 500, and every... He dives! Did he catch that? He did! What a play there for the first down. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. Barucki, a 25-year-old, he was selected in the 15th round during the first-year player draft of 2012. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, you know, d -Row, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other. Could it be where he sets up behind the catcher? It could be, Dan, but as a hitter, that's all you look for. You get, I'll, I'll give you a little bit off the outside edge if you're going to be consistent with it. That misses, nope. and we're oh. even at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Just getting started at the Rogers Center. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, that hitting anything close, so I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Settling in now, J.D. Martinez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1 0 lead. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Now in the box, Steve Pierce. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Now the 0-1. Martinez stands at third with one gun in the inning. Popped him up. McGuire has a play. And he brings it in on the warning track. 
And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. In now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. From the stretch, in there at the knees, strike one. With runners in scoring position this season, Bradley is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. The 1-1 starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Two outs here with a runner at third. Three balls and a strike now to Bradley. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation and now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. Too high and that cost him ball four. At this rate he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. Coming to the plate now, Eduardo Nunez. And the Red Sox with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. Ball, and he out. takes ball one. That's how quick an inning can potentially get away from you out there. You get the first two outs pretty quick. Next guy gets on, and now you're staring the number four hole hitter in the face with a runner in scoring yeah. position. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Now a swing and a fly ball. Richard is in pursuit, and no one will track it down. Ready with the one-two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. Payoff pitch on its way. And he misses again. Ball four. That's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. I think this inning could have far reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work and unless he dials it in it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt but handled quickly behind the plate. The set and the 2 and 0 up and in big danger now it's 3 and 0. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Right. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Taking all the way there, and a walk could be huge here. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Man, it's been an absolute nightmare start to the game, and the nightmare continues as he walks in a run here in the first. The wheels are not completely off the bus, but they're definitely wobbling. We'll see if he can limit the damage going forward. Stepping in, Brock Holt. He comes in with a six-game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball.
ready on 0-2. And another foul ball. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Boy, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Here comes the one and two. Two and two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Two and two. Here it is. And oh look out as that pitch ran in and got him. And that's going to force in a run. Yeah it was a great battle there. And he was one strike away from putting him away as a pitcher. You hate to put a guy on for free after all that work. Into the box now Christian Vasquez as the first pitch sinker misses to him. It's ball one. Even though we're still in the early going. I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach. But if they can't score any more here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Two balls and a strike now. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind three one to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Now, man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. Digging in, Andrew Benintendi hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2 0, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. 2 0 count and the pitch. Run. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 0, that tells me that's oh. a pitch you feel really confident with. 3 and 1 to him now. set here's the 3 1 Action. and a 2 2 sinker falls in there 3 and 2 now oh and it misses ball four and that will force home a run now battle the right fielder Luki. here comes a yeah. Toronto skipper out toward the pitcher's mound and we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart most likely to a chorus of boos here as he.